It's time again for the Science Bowl. Zoo Parade for Five. What big teeth the hippo has are actually a pair of these. Science Potpourri for 10. Would a snake most likely eat every day? Every week, Dateline Science for 10. Why are some elephants wearing necklaces these days? Green things for 15. And now, here's your host, Mr. Z himself, Dave Zarin. Thank you, and welcome to Science Bowl. Play along with us today and test your own science IQ. We've been doing this for 33 years, and we have six outstanding young people here today from two great middle schools to play the game. Let's meet them right now. First, from Gwynn Park Middle School, would you please say hello to Anyika and Digwe, Emma Davis, and Princess Hannah Amaba. From Martin Luther King Jr., say hello to Trevor Bateman, Joey Baylor, and Krish Patel. And now here are the categories of questions we use on the Science Bowl. Okay, Mr. Z, here's today's categories. Green things, questions about plants and all things green and growing. Zoo Parade, a Noah's Ark of questions about animals. Body systems, we'll see how much you know about yourself, about things like breathing and growing and digesting your food. Let's get physical. Questions that test your knowledge of physics and chemistry, earth science and space science. Then there's science potpourri. Here's a grab bag of science questions. Everything from air pollution to the kitchen zinc. And finally, Dateline Science. We'll ask you about science history and science in the news. And here on the Science Bowl, our game board reflects question difficulty. Easier questions on the left worth 5 and 10 points. Tougher ones 15, 20, and ultimately 25, the toughest of them all. Both of our teams start out at 50 points. No penalties ever for incorrect answers. End of our two rounds, one of these two talented, good-looking teams will come back to play again. They will take on Kettering for the chance to become the third of our four semifinalists in this year's middle school competition. Yes, joining Walker Mill and Benjamin Tasker. Let's make sure everything works properly. Emma, would you try your buzzer? Thank you. Good luck to you and to Hannah and to Anyika. And welcome back, because some of you have been here before. And Martin Luther King, also some returnees over there. Joey, would you try the green teams? A-OK -okay as well. Good luck to Trevor and to Chris and Joey. All right, we're going to have a good game here today. I can just feel it. All right, we go alphabetically. G before M. Congratulations for being here and representing your schools. Let's have a good game. Emma, let's go. Green things for five. Green things for five points. Teams, if you want to keep celery fresh in your refrigerator, wrap it up in tin foil. But if you want to keep these vegetables, these cruciferous vegetables that look like little trees fresh, <laughs> <green part. laughs> broccoli. broccoli. You're going to hurt yourselves over there. Take it easy. You wrap the broccoli up in a wet paper towel. On you is treating this like a physical contact game. All right. Good answer. Go red. Um, body systems for 10. Body systems for 10 points. Teams, a barber pole is red and white because barbers used to be surgeons and they would let this flow down your arm. Blood. Joey. Blood. Blood, yes. They would bleed you because they thought that would make you healthier. Completely backwards. Okay, good. Green, go. Let's go. Let's get physical for 15 points. 15 points. All right, teams, you know, if you go to Nats Park, they have vendors walking around going hot dogs, peanuts, popcorn. Well, if there were vendors in science labs, they might be walking around saying, Petri dishes, pipettes, thermometers, Erlenmeyer watts, Emma. Flasks. Flasks. Buy them right here. Good price. Go red. Um, science potpourri for five. Potpourri for five points. Teams, Rajir Ninja has memorized 70,000 decimal places for this number. Joey. Pi. Pi, yes. 3.14, he knows 70,000 more. He needs to get a life. Go green. <laughs> uh, zoo parade for 15 points, please. Zoo parade for 15. Team, some animals are named for other animals, like a leopard seal, a butterfly shrimp, and this kind of rat, even though it doesn't have a pouch and hop around Australia, Joey. A kangaroo mouse. M m m a kangaroo rat? Kangaroo rat, that's exactly right. Go, green. Um, Dateline science for t 10 points, please. Dateline science for 10 points. Teams, you all know the story of Icarus, the mythological boy who did not listen to his father, Daedalus. He flew too close to the sun. 
He fell to the earth because the wings that were attached to his body were attached with what substance? Martin Luther King. Wax. Wax. Yeah, the wax melted because he got too cocky and he flew up there just as his dad told him not to do. Listen to your parents. Go green. Body systems for 15. Body systems for 15 points is a visual question, teams. Look at the monitor in the studio, if you would, please. This is Dr. Nicholas Toop, and this is a Rembrandt painting, a famous one, and he is conducting for his students there a lesson in what branch of science that describes, yes, Gwen Park. <laughs> uh, what you want to say, Onyika? You had an idea. Biology. Not quite. Good try. What branch of science that describes and details how we are put together? Anatomy. Anatomy, yes. That's the anatomy lesson of Dr. Tulp. Good try. Both teams. Points to green. Go. Uh, green things for 15 points. Green things for 15 points. Answer it and spell it. These leaves, when the leaves start to turn color in the fall, it's because this pigment begins to disappear. I need the answer and I need you to spell it both. King. Chlorophyll. C H L O R O P H Y L L. You got it. Nicely done, indeed. All right. A lot of people try to do the F I L L at the end, but Phil refers to leaf there. God bless you. Go again, green. Um, let's go Dateline Science for 15 points. Dateline Science for 15 points is another visual question. Teams look back to the monitor. This ridiculous contraption, this back scratcher, is a Rube Goldberg. Rube Goldberg was a famous cartoonist. All these different steps for one simple thing to happen. It's like the game Mousetrap. This mousetrap, this picture, illustrates that you have to know an awful lot to make something happen. It illustrates STEAM. What are the five words in the acronym STEAM? Okay, Martin Luther King. Science, technology, engineering, arts, and math. And math, absolutely. An upgrade from STEM. Everybody knows STEM with throwing the arts in there. That is a STEAM project. Go again. Great. Uh, science potpourri for 15 points. Potpourri for 15 points. Teams, if you have a pet rabbit, sometimes rabbits can have urine scald. They can be burned because their urine has a pH of 9, making it very what? Making it very what? King. Basic. 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 Very basic. basic. Very basic. Very alkaline. So very alkaline, just like lye. So it can burn. So pet rabbits, for some reason, they sometimes pee on their fur and it gets under the skin there and it causes that scalding. Go again. Zoop raid for 25 points. Zoop raid for 25. All right. Team's giraffes. We were just talking about the giraffes in the practice round. Baby giraffes inherit their spots from their mothers. Now, those spots are unique. Every giraffe is different. I'll give you 25 points if you can give me two things that the spots on a giraffe help it to do. Two things. Um, All right. Chemical. Gwen Park, talk among yourselves in case I have to come to you. Spots on a giraffe, they're advantageous. What can they help that giraffe, that baby giraffe or that adult giraffe do? All right, Martha King. Camouflage and attract mates. You got that right. And also, I also identification, also identification. Good playing over there. That buzzer says we've come to the end of the first round. Our score, Wind Park 70, Martin Luther King 175. We will be back with round two in just one moment. Don't go away. And welcome back to Science Bowl. Thank you for spending part of your day with us here. And before we ask any more science questions, a few personal ones, let's find about our players and about the schools they attend. Let's go first to Gwynn Park. And Emma, nice to have you guys here today. Tell us about your school. Who's your principal? Our principal is Dr. Moore. All right, not there rooting for you. And who's the coach of your team? Ms. Reddick. Absolutely. And, uh, Thank you very much for everything you've done, uh, Ms. Reddick, because uh, Gwynn Park has not been with us all that often, but because of you, they're back in the mix, and we appreciate that. Emma, who are the alternates on your team? Um, we have Shania Pate and Naila Abubar. And we'll bring that out in just a few moments. They're down there yelling the answers through the wall, but we can't <laughs> hear them. Tell me something about Gwynn Park that's really special that you like other people to know. So instead of doing work and assignments on paper and pencil, we use technology like Chromebooks to do our work. 
That's wonderful, you know, because that's, that's preparing you for what's out there after you leave high school. You've got to be prepared because there's a lot of competition out there. Emma, what do you want to do someday? When I get older, I would like to be an entrepreneur and own my own baking business. Yeah, how'd you get interested in that? Um, over the summer, um, I just learned new recipes and they're actually really fun to do. And they taste really good. And I bet you, you know, a lot of good pastry chefs and cooks, they put their own spin on it after a while. Mm -hmm. You know, they'll make it, they'll make it your own. So uh, good luck to you. Thank if, you. As they say, if you build a better mousetrap, the world will beat a path to your door. So if you make a good product, they're going to come to your shop. Hannah, nice to have you here with us today. Tell us your story. Now, you've been here before. Yeah. Yeah. For Brandywine. Exactly. So uh, why did you come back? Because I enjoy science. It's like a never-ending thing. It's like type of infinite, and when you keep going with it, because what we're touching right now is made out of matter, which includes science, too. It's <laughs> really interesting. I couldn't have said that better myself. That's, that's wonderful. That encapsulates what science is all about. And just when you think you're, you're on top of it, you know, we've just scratched the surface. There's so much out there. What do you want to do someday? Oh, I would like to be a scientist slash musician. Well, you'd be a good one, whatever you choose. And you bring a lot of energy to the game here. Just get some more points, all right? Good. <laughs> okay. And you can nice to have you back again, too, because you were an alternate before. Is that right? Mm -hmm. What school? Um, Gwen Park. Gwen Park. So it's nice to have you back with your, your home <coughs> school here. Tell us about yourself. What do you do in your spare time? Um, I am a poet. I like writing poetry. So. Oh, yeah. We were talking about that before, mm -hmm. about how spare the language has to be, but how much emotion each of those words has to convey. And uh, what would you like to do professionally? Um, when I get older, I would like to be a doctor. Doctor, yeah. And you want to go to Georgetown, don't yes. you? And they have a renowned medical school there. And uh, I bet the people at home are very happy you want to go to Georgetown because it's close to home. Just get yourself a scholarship. It's expensive there, as you probably discovered. Nice to have you all here. Martin Luther King, nice to have you guys back. And people throughout the county probably recognize you. You guys are like rock stars, especially Joey, because all the posters have your picture on. Martin Luther King is the reigning champion. Two years in a row, they have won the county championship, and uh, I know they'd like to go for a three-peat three -peat here. Joey, tell us about your uh, school. Who's your principal? Uh, our principal is Dr. Floyd Cooper. And she is here today. I know how proud she is of all of you. And the sponsor of your team? Uh, we have Miss El the wonderful Elizabeth Butler. The one and only Elizabeth Butler. And Elizabeth, thank you for being with us. I, don't know, I bet it's in double digits. You have been with the Science Bowl for so many years, and you always send us just terrific teams and uh, you're responsible for a lot of the success that we see here from Martin Luther King. Uh, any alternates on your team, Joey? Uh, yes, we have, this year we have three. We have Carolyn Appleby, Jonathan Curtis, and Kevin Kriske. And they will be out in just a few moments. Uh, lots of great things about King, just as a lot of great things at Gwynn Park. What do you like to brag about? Well, this year we've started introducing a lot of new clubs to add on to all the clubs that we had previously. So this year we have like, uh, we have Code Academy to go along with things like Environmentalist Club and DI. And all that really provides a lot of opportunities for our students. Absolutely. And for those of you that are in the, in the mix, DI is? Uh, Destination Imagination. Destination Imagination, yeah, great competition. Uh, Joe, you have your life planned out, MIT or Princeton and professional? Uh, um, for my career, I'd probably like to take a whack at something in the field of astronomy or astrophysics. Well, you're an outstanding young man, and uh, you've been with us for a number of years here. It's always good to have you back. Chris, nice to have you here for the first time. Why'd you want to do this? Um, so, like, I, I did a project for my reading teacher, and she, like, kind of urged me yeah. to do this, and I, I tried, and I made the team. She made the suggestion, and you went through with it. I hope you're glad you came today, because we like having you. Uh, what do you want to do someday? I probably want to be some sort of doctor, maybe a psychiatrist. I just want to help people and, like, yeah. get money for it, you know? Is your family medically oriented? Are there other doctors in your family? Yeah, my sister is trying to um, be a doctor as well, and I think my uh, another one of my sisters is trying to become a doctor when she gets into college. Wow, she so college. you're going to be a doctor, and Anika's going to be a doctor someday. And Trevor, do you want to be a doctor? No. Uh, what do you, you want to do? I want to be a computer engineer. I probably want to work for Google. Yeah, yeah, go. You know, that's always voted one of the best companies to work for. Uh, you've been on Science Bowl before, of course. Yep. Uh, why do you like the show? Why do you come back? I like it because it's fun to do. It's kind of like a kid's Jeopardy, as you said earlier, and also I like science. Yeah, it's obvious that you like science. And what do you do in your spare time, Trevor? I play soccer and I do the sport fencing. Also, I do DI. Yeah. Do you do the on guard? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You wear a mask? 
Yeah. Yeah. All right. Nice to have you back with us again. Let's get back to the game. <coughs> Gwynn Park 70, Martin Luther King 175. Lots of difficult questions remaining. Lots of points to be earned. Start us out, Joey. Uh, body systems for 25 points. 25 points in body system. Teams, the larynx is your voice box. The pharynx is your throat. I'll give you 25 points if you can spell either one. Um, All right, Martin Luther King, which one are you going to choose? I'm going to choose larynx. Larynx. L-A-R-Y-N-X. You got that right. And some people mispronounce it as larynx. We did not. And pharynx is P-H-A-R-Y-N-X. Go green. Um, I would like green things for 25. Green things for 25 points. Teams, plants can grow very quickly because of a substance called gibberellic acid. Gibberellic acid is the same kind of chemical that we have in our body that we call insulin and adrenaline and thyroxine. Those kinds of chemicals are known as, Emma? Hormones. Hormones. You got that right. I saw you whispering that, Hannah. Say hormones. Glad you listened to her. Good. You're back in the game. Go. Um, let's get physical for 25. Let's get physical for 25 points. All right, teams. This process is when water diffuses from an area of low solute concentration into an area of high solute concentration to equalize the concentrations. That is known by what O initial process? Osmosis. Osmosis is right, King. Good. Go. Uh, science potpourri for 25 points. Potpourri for 25 points. Teams, if you go to see the Jurassic Park movies, the dinosaurs on screen are produced in a company called C. G I. What does that stand for, King? Computer generated okay. imagery. You got that right. CGI. Without CGI, the movies wouldn't be what they are. We wouldn't see people getting eaten, sort of, by T Rexes. Go. Green. Dateline Good answer. Uh, Dateline signs for 25 points. Dateline signs for 25 points. In this country, our paper money has pictures mostly of presidents. In England, they put scientists on some of their paper currency. The one pound note has Isaac Newton. The five pound note has Charles Darwin. And the 50 pound note has James Who, who invented the term horsepower and whose name is found on the light bulbs in your home. James Who, the 50 pound note king. What? Yes, James Watt was he. Good, go. Um, green things for 20 points. Green things for 20 points. Teams, your question. Yonke National Park in Puerto Rico is the only place in America where you would see this kind of forest. Martin Luther King. Tropical rainforest? You got that right. It's the only tropical rainforest in America. It was badly damaged by the recent hurricane. But even in South Florida, there are no tropical rainforests. Good answer. Go green. Let's get physical for 20 points. Let's get physical for 20. Teams, there's a commercial on television that says V8 will give you as much of this nutrient as a banana does, but you don't have to peel a V8 can. Vitamin D. Not vitamin E. Let me finish the question for Martin Luther King. A V8 can, a can of V8, gives you as much of this nutrient as a banana would, but you don't have to peel a V8 can. The chemical symbol is K for this nutrient. Potassium. Potassium, that's it. Bananas and potassium are, are synonymous. Go again, green. Um, science potpourri for 20 points. Potpourri for 20. Teams, we now know that the great apes of the world share 97% of the genes we humans have. I'll give you the points if you could give me two of the four great apes. Two of the four great apes will get you the 20 points. Orangutan and gorilla. Orangutan and gorilla, chimpanzees, and one that most people doesn't, but bonobos, B-O-N-O-B-O-S. Good answer, go. Um, body systems for 20. Body systems for 20 points. Teams, recently we all saw Meghan Markle wed Prince Harry, but Princess Eugenie was wed recently in Britain, and she specifically wanted to wear a wedding dress that showed the scar from when she had scoliosis as a child. Is scoli scoliosis is better known as an unusual curvature of the what? Martin Luther King? Spine. No, the spine, that's right. Good. Thank you, Krish. Um, zoo parade for 20 points. Zoo parade for 20. Teams, even though bighorn sheep don't wear helmets, 
they bash heads together all the time, but unlike football and hockey players, they knew never get these. They never get these, Joey. Concussions. Concussions, yeah. They probably have a headache or two, but no, they don't get concussions. Go, green. Uh, Dateline signs for 20 points. Dateline for 20. Teams, the Nobel Prize in Chemistry this year went to three scientists who provided better understanding of how proteins do this that Charles Darwin taught us all about. Someone's got to ring in. Evolve. King. Evolve. Yes, the evolution of proteins. Good. Good. Charles Darwin, bing, bing, bing. That should always trigger evolution. Go. Uh, green things for 10 points. Green things for 10. Teams down at the U.S. Botanic Garden, there is a plant called the corpse plant. It blooms every few years. It stinks. It smells like rotten flesh. It stinks like that because what's it trying to do? What's it trying to do, King? Attract pollinators. Yeah, it wants something to come and help pollinate it. In this case, flies. Flies. Good. Green. Um, zoo parade for 10 points. Zoo parade for 10. God bless you. Oftentimes, people use the wrong adjective to describe these big birds that poop all over golf courses and playing grounds. Gwen Park. Pigeons. Not pigeons. Good try. These big birds that poop on golf courses and playgrounds. Oftentimes, people use the wrong adjective to describe them. Geese. Geese, yes, we will take geese, and a lot of people say Canadian geese, and it should be Canada geese or Canada goose. Go. Uh, let's get physical for 10 points. Let's get physical for 10 points. Teams, the Leon Letterman got a Nobel Prize in physics for discovering neutrinos and quarks, two subatomic particles that are not as familiar as what three that we all know about. Protons, wait, protons, neutrons, and electrons? Yeah, that's right. Protons, neutrons, and electrons in the nucleus and surrounding the nucleus. All right, go. Uh, science potpourri for 10 points. Potpourri for 10 points. If you suffer from allergies, allergists say when you come in from outside, use saline to irrigate your nose. What is saline? Salt. What is it, King? Salt water. Salt water. You take salt water, squ squirt it up into your nostrils, and that'll get some of those pollen grains out of there. All right. We're down to the last few questions. Joey. Dateline science for five. Dateline science for five points. Teams for just $20, you can get delivered to your home a kilogram of soil that is simulated to be like the soil on this planet where the rover got the real stuff. Mars. Mars, yeah. You can get some Martian soil. Simulated Martian soil. I don't know why. Go. Uh, body systems for five points. Body systems for five points. Teams, the medical term for this condition is Christus and Serena. We know it better as what R.L. Stein called them. Goosebumps. Goosebumps. Yeah, they're goosebumps. R.L. Stein. We have a lot of readers around here. Okay. Uh, zoop parade for five points. Zoop parade for five. Teams, a football is basically an air bladder covered with four pieces of skin from one of these barnyard animals. Pigs. Yeah, it's a pig skin. And lastly, let's get physical for five points. Your question is as follows. If you read Josh Green's book about two teenagers who have cancer who fall in love, you know? The Fault in Our Stars. The, salt, the Fault in Our Stars. And you go out on a high note. That is the end of our game. We will be back in just a moment. Welcome back to Science Ball. Hope you enjoyed this game at home. And uh, it was a little one-sided, but you know what? All of our young people today distinguish themselves beautifully, and we are proud of each and every one of you for the game you played. Our final tally today is Gwyn Park 100, Martin Luther King 450. They're not the reigning champs for nothing over there. Trevor and Joey and Chris, congratulations. And look at the alternate team back there, the shadow team, Jonathan and Carolyn and Kevin. Ms. Floyd is here today, Dr. Floyd, the wonderful principal at Martin Luther King. Thank you for being with us today. And Ms. Butler, you're just the best. Congratulations to Martin Luther King. <laughs> Trevor is trying to smile. He should be smiling. You guys did well. 
And you guys, I didn't have to worry about you smiling. You got great smiles over here. You played a terrific game. You came in and you know, you took on the, the county champ and you really you gave, you never gave up. I loved that. Emma and Hannah and Anika, we loved having you here today. And Naila, where's Naila back there? She's smiling for us. And Shania, congratulations to you and Ms. Reddick. Thank you for being participants this year. We loved having Gwen Park here. We loved having you too. Join us again on another edition of Science Bowl. Till then, I'm Dave Zarin. Bye-bye.